some of the people that I've been reading for in the last, I don't know, like 2000 hands, some of them are dealing with some really uh, difficult issues around having a lot of energy, getting sexually attracted and turned on, going through menopause, dealing with a lack of uh, motivation in general, weight gain, and uh, feeling uh, listless and, and figuring out uh, and, and feeling like, well, they don't even in the mood, even if I tell them what they're meant to do from their hands, they're not even in the mood for it. They have no energy. And a lot of that has to do in the scientific base of the 2D, 4D study. Now, typically I avoid this topic because I find it really boring from one aspect. And that is the hands are amazing. They show so much more than this thing that scientists want to hang their hat on and say, this is the only thing that is valid in hand analysis. It's not true. There are, there are over a thousand studies of how the hands represent different biological, neurological processes. It's just that you know about the 2D, 4D study. So I'm going to talk about it. It's, it's valid. It's useful and I'm gonna show its use today. Now, what the study is, is that there is a relationship at the time that you are born as a fetus of the, of the amount of testosterone and the amount of estrogen that is in the embryonic fluid that, in, that for some reason, the, this finger seems to be more susceptible or receptive to the testosterone and grows more, the more it gets, um, the more it's exposed to it. And the same thing with the estrogen. Now, typically men have a, a lot of testosterone. And so the ring finger gets bigger. Women tend to have a, a lot of estrogen, okay? And, uh, and so when you're looking at the, um, ratio of this that some of them are like equal and then you can st start to derive some uh studies around that right you can look at alcoholism based on that or some of these are the stockbrokers like to be at the center of attention and uh and if you're over here then you tend to be uh wanting a lot more you get uh men tend to get fatter in this region so i'll go into it topic by topic okay so first off let's take it one by one estrogen estrogen is the uh, women experience this it as a regular part of their cycle and that you know they have the progesterone coming in to the full moon if you're into that cycle and what it essentially means is it has a role in uh, keeping the fluid and, and it helps with your bone density and it helps nourish the body. And if it is um, super high for a woman, then they get foggy thinking. They get it during menopause. Uh, they get anxious a lot. Uh, they go into weight gain and uh they they end up getting low libido in fact i'll say this in general too much too little you get low libido too much too little testosterone um uh too little uh too much estrogen you end up getting low libido okay for men if they get too much estrogen well you know you start to get a little bit more feminine or uh, lacking the masculine quality uh, you get man boobs. Um, they call them, uh, if you're, if you're in a chronic marijuana user, you can also get the, what is called doobie boobies. <laughs> so it is a, a area where you're getting uh, moody, pudgy, um, and you're feeling like you can't, you can't just have the motivation. Now, this is really easy to see. If you go through uh, hormone replacement therapy, the hand changes. I'll prove it to you. Who's our famous example? We got Bruce Jenner, who ultimately became Caitlyn Jenner. And she uh, was a, an Olympian. And in this uh, process of, of going through 
uh, hormone replacement therapy, she, she went to um, change the whole outlook of her hand. So I'll have a look here and you can see her here. This is from my book, The Power in Your Hands. And so that's, that's Bruce. That's Caitlin. Look at their hands. This is after you inject a lot of estrogen in your body. Now, he already has a, an appetite for it because look at the, 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 the length of that index finger compared to the ring finger, right? So already there's a great amount of appetite for that. And, and you can see that the softness starts to come in. There's a rosiness and a softness to the hand, whereas before there's not a lot. So you can see that if someone has a, a lot of estrogen, their hands are getting a lot uh, more uh, uh, flaccid. And, uh, and let's say you've got too much, maybe you're starting to get too much in this area, then there's a recommendation there, right? Eat more carrots, have some castor oil, have some vitamin E, eat some broccoli, chia seeds, um, and how can it get too much? Well, most of the time this get, is balanced when you have a lot of sleep. So if a lack of sleep will do this, stress will do this, uh, a feeling of um, where you're, you're constantly drinking alcohol, which your liver is now having to deal with the alcohol. So it can't really participate in a proper balance here. So um, if you start to lose estrogen, though, that can also be a problem, right? So if you start going into this direction, then that means that if you're a woman, I mean, that's, that's kind of bad news of a, a lack of estrogen, whereas a man that's considered normal because their testosterone is rising. For women, that means vaginal dryness, means sex doesn't feel good. You can get depressive. A lot of anorexic women have this. And so they can get more wrinkles. Uh, the hand looks really dry. And, uh, and if you're a man, you, you might think that would not be, but that's, that's called, um, that, that can happen. If you end up getting bad skin. You end up getting low libido. You have difficulty keeping it up. So you need a balance of it. Okay, so that's the, that's the estrogen story. OK, and that that is useful in, in, in being able to find a balance. And I'm taking people on this process called the hero's journey to have them feel amazing. Like, how do you feel amazing knowing exactly the appetite that you have for these different uh, hormones and therefore different nutrients that you need just from the ham? OK, now we're going to talk about uh, testosterone. So. Testosterone, as we know, I guess there's a common understanding that it is the masculine side, right? You've got hairy knuckles and hairy hands and a hairy chest. That's typically considered the, testo the testosterone. But actually, uh, what we see is that it, it, it is, it, it, you can see that it brings a, lot, a level of alpha energy for a person. So that means that over time, that's really important that if you have a lot of alpha energy, you're, what we really see is that that person needs a lot of recognition and he needs a lot of applause. And we find that in the people that like to be in the center of attention. So I'll share uh, from my book, people with uh, a lot of it. Okay. So that's called the Apollo finger. Will Smith has it. And you got uh, Miss Texas here, who has a pretty nice one, and they need a lot of recognition. They have a lot of positivity and brilliance. Now, there's two parts of the hand that, that uh, produce this. There's the ring finger, and it goes in a channel right down from the Mars region. So let me show you the Mars too, because it, the, both of them are instrumental. This is the heroic side right here. All right. So this is an area that needs to be able to confront. We see this in a lot of soldiers, police officers, people to debate. Um, and so both of them, um, and both women and, and men, if they get too, if a woman gets too much testosterone, then they get, that's not really good for them. They can get uh, acne, um, 
and they get uh, aggressive, right? Uh, for men, that's considered a, a socially acceptable trait. And if you want to increase the amount of it, then generally heavy weights, heavy resistance training will increase the amount of testosterone. Um, and, and likewise, I, I failed to mention on the estrogen side, if you want to increase that, you just run a lot, right? So you need both running and, uh, and uh, uh, resistance training to balance both of these. Now, if you are lacking in testosterone, then for a woman, then you might start to also again, get low libido, you might experience joint pain. But for men, they get into the, they start getting into estrogen territory. They start to feel like they, um, they, they're not in the mood. They're, they're really wrestling with the weight. They, they have, this happens when they drink uh, too much alcohol. They have too much soy. They, they end up getting smaller balls. They get um, uh, a sense of listlessness. And so that can get counteracted with a lot of fiber in the diet. So just by looking at the, uh, by just evaluating these uh, fingers and saying, okay, all right, so you got a nice ring finger, you got a nice Mars, you got a lot of testosterone, Mr. Jackson. And so there are exercises and supplements that you're going to need in order to feel you and feel really good about you. So that's, that's why you can check out the 2D, 4D. That said, that's how much importance I put to the 2D, 4D study compared to the amount of wisdom that's available. Over a thousand papers have been uh, uh, published just on the neurology of mental illness related to the hands. And the work from the Institute of Hand Analysis, over half a million people have been studied to see the whole range of all experiences because this is your sensory cortex. This is where all the experience of everything that you can possibly uh, summarize as your reality is it's all broadcast here and amplified here. And so I can literally data mine every part of this and see these are experiences that you avoid. These are areas that you really have an appetite for. Therefore, you need to go into this. Some of these areas are more challenging and there are more life lessons for you to be able to grow. And the more that you do, then the more that you'll find that your life is satisfying. So uh, not to say that the 2D, 4D isn't valid. It's a great way for people to finally come and talk to me and realize that I'm not a palm reader. I'm a hand analyst and I'm working with the nervous system. Uh, so I hope that helps. And um, yeah, check out a hand reading. There's so much more information about you when we cover your life pattern through the hands. All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers.